Welcome to another training session on PLC programming. In today's session, we will see how to run the motor at multiple speeds without using any analog signals. In this method, we will use only the digital outputs of the PLC to select different pre-programmed frequency references in the VFD. Before starting, I will request you guys to please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon and show some love for this channel. Let's start today's session by setting some parameters in the VFD. We are using FC51 Danfoss VFD in today's tutorial. First of all, we will set the parameter 3-02 to 0.0, .0 Hz. This is the minimum output frequency of the VFD. Next, we will change the parameter 3-03 to 50 Hz. This is the maximum output frequency of the VFD. Next, we will enter some preset reference to control the speed of the motor in menu 3-10. We will set the first frequency reference in the parameter 3-10-1 to 5%. This is 5% of the maximum frequency 50 Hz. Means that if we select this frequency reference, the motor will run at 2.5 Hz, which is the 5% of the 50 Hz. Next, we will set the second frequency reference in the parameter 3-10-2 to 10%, 3-10-3 to 15%, 3-10-4 to 20%, 3-10-5 to 25%, 3-10-5 to 30%, and 3-10-7 to 35%. We have entered 7 different preset frequency references in the VFD. Now the question is that how we can select these different frequency references in the VFD using the PLC digital output signals. We can select the frequency references using the digital inputs of the VFD. There are 3 input terminals 27, 29 and 33. First, we have to configure these terminals to preset reference selection bits. We will set parameter 5-12 to 16. This will set the terminal 27 of the VFD as preset bit 0. Next, we will set the parameter 5-13 to 17. This will set the terminal 29 of the VFD as preset bit 1. Next, we will set the parameter 5-15 to 18. This will set the terminal 33 of the VFD as preset bit 2. Now let's see how does these bits can be used to select the preset frequency references. We have VFD's digital inputs 27, 29 and 33. These are connected to the PLC digital outputs Q0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.4. As discussed earlier, these Three inputs of the VFD 27, 29 and 33 are the bits of 3-bit binary number. Means that each of these bits have some value. For example, the terminal 27 is set as bit 0, its value is 1. Terminal 29 is set as bit 1, its value is 2. Terminal 33 is set as bit 2, its value is 4. Now, if we only turn on the Q0.2 output of the PLC, it will activate the terminal 27 bit 0. The value of the bit 0 is 1. This will load the preset frequency reference number 1, which is 2.5 Hz, and motor will run at 2.5 Hz frequency. If we turn on Q0.3 output of the PLC, this will activate terminal 29 bit 1. The value of the bit 1 is 2. It will load the preset reference frequency 2, which is 5.0 Hz, and motor will run at 5.0 Hz. If we turn on the Q0.2 and Q0.3 outputs of the PLC, it will activate bit 0 and bit 1. The sum of these bits is 3. It will load the preset frequency reference number 3, which is 7.5 Hz and motor will run at 7.5 Hz frequency. If we turn on Q0.4 output of the PLC, it will activate the bit 2. The value of this bit is 4. 
it will load the preset frequency reference 4 which is 10 Hz and motor will run at the 10 Hz frequency. If we turn on the Q0.4 and Q0.3 output of the PLC, it will activate the bit 2 and bit 1. The sum of the values of these bits is 6. It will load the preset frequency reference 6 which is 15 Hz and motor will run at the 15 Hz frequency. If we turn on all three outputs of the PLC, it will activate all three bits and the sum of all three bits is 7. It will load the preset frequency reference 7 which is 17 Hz and motor will run at the 17 Hz frequency. So now we have some understanding how we can select different preset frequency references using the PLC digital outputs. Next we will set the terminal 18 as the run command of the VFD and terminal 19 as the reverse run command. We will set the parameter 5-10 as 8. It will configure terminal number 18 as a run command. Next we will set the parameter 5-11 as 10. It will configure the terminal 20 as the reverse run command. Now let's go to the Somatic Manager software and here we will discuss how the ladder logic is working for this application. In the network one, simply when we turn on the start bit M0.0, it will turn on the Q0.0 PLC output. It will activate the run command bit of the VFD. In the network two, simply we, we turn on the reverse command M0.1 and it will turn on the Q0.1 PLC output. It will activate the reverse command bit of the VFD. Network 3 logic is to control the speed reference bit 0. Network 4 is to control the speed reference bit 1. Network 5 is to control the speed reference bit 2. In network 3, if we turn on the bit M2.0, it will activate the output Q0.2, speed reference bit 0. And the VFD will load the first preset reference frequency, which is 2.5 Hz. Next we will turn on the M2.1, it will activate the output Q0.3 speed reference bit 1 and VFD will load the second preset frequency which is 5 Hz. Next if we turn on the bit M2.2, it will activate the preset reference bit 0 and 1. As we know that the sum of the values of these bits is 3, so it will load the third preset frequency reference and motor will run at 7.5 Hz. Same way we can activate bits M2.3, M2.4, 2.5 and 2.6 to load 4, 5th, 6th and 7th preset frequency references. Now we upload the program into the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. First of all we will turn on the M0.0 run command bit. It will turn on the PLC output Q0.0 and send a digital signal to the run input terminal of the VFD. Next we will turn on the M2.0 select speed reference 1 bit. It will turn on the PLC output Q0.2 speed reference bit 0. And VFD will load the first preset frequency reference 2.5 Hz and motors start to run at the 2.5 Hz frequency. Next, we will turn on the M2.1 select speed reference 2 bit. It will turn on the PLC output Q0.3 speed reference bit 1. And the VFD will load the second preset frequency reference 5 Hz and motor start to run at the 5 Hz frequency. Next, if we turn on M2.2 select speed reference 3 bit, it will turn on the PLC output Q0.3 speed reference bit 1 and Q0.2 speed reference bit 0. As we know that the sum of the values of the bit 0 and bit 1 is 3. So the VFD will load the third preset frequency reference 7.5 Hz and motor start to run at 7.5 Hz frequency. Next if we turn on the M2.3 select speed reference 4 bit. It will turn on the PLC output Q0.4 speed reference bit 2 and the VFD will load the fourth preset frequency reference 10 Hz and motors start to run at the 10 Hz frequency. Same way if we turn on the frequency selection bit M2.4 it will load the fifth preset frequency reference and motor will run at 12.5 Hz output frequency. Now if we turn on the frequency selection bit M2.5, it will load the 6th preset frequency reference 
and motor will start to run at 15 Hz frequency. In the last, if we turn on the frequency selection bit M2.6, it will turn on all three bits as we know that the sum of all of these three bits is 7. It will load the preset reference number 7 and the motor will start to run at 17.5 Hz frequency. Now if we want to run the motor in the reverse direction, we will simply turn on the PLC output Q0.1. It will send a digital signal to the VFD to run the motor in the reverse direction and motor starts to run in the anti-clockwise direction at 17.5 Hz frequency. So this is how we can run the VFD at the multiple frequencies without using any analog signals from the PLC. I hope you liked today's video. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.